Kia ora, you wonderful people! Salele here, and I have options! Okay, so for a bit of context, let me just head over to where you wanna go. I think I just picked that. Nope. There is one more trainer somewhere in here. I know that for a fact, because I found him while doing this. As you can see, there's a rival battle. I have tried recording. I beat the trainer that I found. Then I found this. And I can't beat him. If I was to do a win-loss thing amongst us, I would be tacking an extra L onto the counter because there's no way I'm getting past this. At first, I was worried that I'd have to grind. But, actually, is he... Oh no, I think he's on a higher floor that I can get to right now. I just remember there being one. However, though, as I was saying, I do, in fact, have options as to what I can do instead. For starters, we never did Route 12 heading down and Route 13 heading down towards Fuchsia. There is also Route 16, 17, 18 leading to the same place, Cycling Road. I actually went to have a look to see if I had any other options through Bolopedia, just to make sure before I decided, okay, I'm gonna have to put this on hold for a little bit while I grind up to where I can beat Silph Co. Rival. Thankfully, we don't have to do that. So Saffron City, as a whole, is getting put on hold for the moment. Because the only other things that we can do it that would be to do in Saffron, well, besides this, is the gym, and, um, not there, I believe it's over here, I think it's, a, it's either one, that one or the one up here, Copycat's house, neither of which we can do. Because until you evict Team Rocket, sorry, Saffron is just fully locked. So, yes, yeah, Saffron is just gonna have to go on the back burner. In the meantime, however, is that sorry? I'm going to head back to Lavender Town, and we're going to head southward down through Snorlax Route, and see what we can find there. I could also do Cycling Road, which I might just do once I hit Fuchsia, go up and loop around. But we'll see. Alright, so, Route 12. We don't have Surf, so we can't see what new Pokémon there are, but we do have a bunch of trainers we didn't do. So, what do we got, buddy? Three Pokémon, a Yonhan. Alright. I actually think this might be where the Six Magikarp dude is. There's always that one trainer in mainline Pokemon games that just has the six magic arms. Azuril, um, let's see. I mean, considering I probably can't do much, I'll switch in Candela and then switch back to get gummies so that he can get the experience. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe having a few legendaries in the team might not have been a solid idea. 
is mean. Sure, Nurigami's done some pretty decent move. It's got a pretty solid move set on it, to be honest. It's got a Confuse, a Freeze, Full Stat Razor, and Special Attack, Special Defense Razor. So I think that's, for at least for non-PvP type battles, it's pretty solid. But I have noticed that they start getting real bullshit moves. I don't recall what they were sending, so I'm just staying. Switch is neat. Spoink. Oh, Alright. I guess when you got something like this, it's a little too easy to fall into a stupid trap like this and end up with a team that has really dumb moves. So. I think what I'm going to do in regards to something I said earlier, the what I called Pokemon Satan Edition, I'm going to wait until I've got a few more randomizers under my belt. Before I worry about doing that. Um, hey. I should actually be putting Candor up top because they're the one that need it. Then again, I think Jetfire is close. Looking at that, he's decently. Yeah, sorry for the delay. I've been. Aside from dealing with stupidity, I've kind of been sucking into Legends of Arceus. <laughs> And, as you guys know, if you've been watching my Twitter, I actually am enjoying it. Very few other games have basically just said, here's a big-ass open area, and encourage dicking about that I played. I mean, yeah, there's the Elder Scrolls, but in terms of recent stuff, there hasn't been too many. I mean, there's only been maybe Yakuza and Breath of the Wild that have done that for me. Pidgeotto. Oh, you poor son. But yeah. I mean, granted it's not true open world. I'll give it that. And I will agree that maybe the graphics could have been a little better, but... I still enjoy it, and I'm not a complete graphics war. I still like looking at the world, seeing what there is to see, and as I did say, not many games to say, here, have fun putzing about doing your own thing. You don't have to do the main story right away. Which I love. I mean, I get that Times they just want to give you a, they want to tell a narrative and such. But sometimes you just want that to be able to just go completely the opposite direction from whatever the main quest is. Four Pokemon. That's Kingdra. I would say Nurigami, but. Really a good response to a water dra dragon. Or at least among my team. So I'll just try get Gami. But yeah. Like Breath of the Wild, it tells you defeat Ganon. But it also kinda emphasizes the fact that you're probably not gonna do well if you just go straight for Ganon and tries to say, go do all this other stuff, which allows you to then start mad across. Ooh, that's a candle job. And those hang up. It allows you to just wander around and do your own thing. Yeah, you'll probably start heading towards Kakariko to go talk to Empa and learn stuff there as well as about the Divine Beast. But while you're going, you might just spot something and be like, what's that? And then go find something else and something else, and you just snowball into a bunch of stuff. You 
start to get into the idea of just exploring, taking it at your own pace. It was kind of the same with Skyrim, honestly. Yeah, you had the main quest, but what's stopping you from just going off on your own adventure? And it was, and it's the same with Legends. Yeah, you got the main story, which will eventually do, but you can go off and just make your own adventures by seeing what you can do with Pokemon. Or doing something with Pokedex. There were articles <laughs> of people saying, hey, I'm four star with the Galactic Survey Team right now, and I'm not even out of Area 1. As for the new games, uh, Scarlet and Violet, I'm curious. Legends has made me actually curious. But anyways, This is not going to end well for you. Wait, what? Although, according to... Oh, why do you that? I know that was your line and such, but... That's some weird implications. Okay, so Noragami, you are completely hopeless here. I think this... Yeah. Uh, that's gonna have to... That's gonna be a Gekagami job for sure. I really should be putting Zilla back up front with Macho Brace. If not Candela, then definitely Zilla, because he's gonna take forever to fucking evolve. Yeah, Gekagami's got to finish that score for sure. Actually, now I think about it, jumping back to what I said about Scarlet and Violet, there is one complaint so far I would make about it. But this is only really a minor complaint, but it's also one I've been seeing a lot, and I kind of agree with it. I don't like the human designs. I don't know what it is exactly about the human designs, to be honest, but I think they nailed the human design with Sword and Shield. Say what you will about Sword and Shield. Yeah, it definitely had some issues, but I think when it came to the human designs for the trainers and such, they pretty much got it with Sword and Shield in terms of designing the human characters. And I don't like Scarlet and Violet's human characters as much. Not just because of the clothing, but just the overall design. That's not to say that I'm going to absolutely crap on the game because of that. I'm going to wait and see what else, but yeah. Anyways. Um, who's got what right now? You currently have the Magnet. You probably have the Jeff Iris Metal Coat. Uh, let's see. To be honest, I'm kind of debating whether I want to throw this to... to Candela, or do I want to give this to Zilla? Candela needs to catch up. But Zilla also needs it for the fact that he's going to take fucking forever to evolve. Uh... You know what? I'm going to throw it to Candela because Candela, because Zilla's quite a bit ahead. Like, he's, due to having to do that to level him, he is quite a bit higher. Also, we got here. Fishing Guru's younger brother. Yes, I like to fish. 
Super Rod! That opens up a lot of Pokemon. If I catch a big Magikarp, uh, yeah, good luck with that. I don't even know if Magikarp fucking exists. Uh, okay, I could go and see what we can get with this, but I think... But there's so many routes that this can fish on. And I don't... I can't remember route. Yeah, actually, the route would affect. So we'd have to go back and... Well, we'll see what we get here, but... I think in terms of general... I'm gonna mainly leave that to an extra where we just kind of go around and see what we can find. My Pokemon is on the hook. I forgot to candle her up. Main at trick. Unfortunately, I think we have to fight you. Because I forgot you two. You guys end up with something like level 35. I may have made a mistake! Ooh, good. Good. Still a please handle this. We may have to go up to thing to Lavender Town and heal up. Ooh, was not expecting that. One more rock slide, please. Pretty nice. What's weed? Um, uh, actually, what about going through here? Route 11. Where would that put me? Oh yeah, I know this route. This puts people. This takes me to Vermilion. That works. Ooh, was not expecting that. Though if I put Manetric up top, I also gotta take into account there could be something heat stink against. I mean not Manetric, Zilla. <laughs> oh god, I cannot talk. Tell me my brain isn't so fried. <laughs> eh. Alright, back we go. I'll do a couple more on that route, but I think in terms of mainline, just seeing what we find, I'll probably just do a few choice routes, so to speak, and just see what we can encounter during an extra. Anyways, let's just fish here. on the hook. Okay. Also, holy level difference. Wait, you can't get out. Alright. Cowabunger it is, then. I might have to do a couple more back by the go by the where I got this rod. All right, Pokemon's on the hook. What do we got? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do another one over by the other dude's house, by the Guru's house. Cause I think we changed routes while we were doing that. Did we? Weird. Oh, maybe there's like a massive level gap. 
Yeah, I think there is. It's like a major level gap or something. Depending on what Pokemon you find. So since he, these level 15s, so they're probably on the lower end. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I'm dumb. I should've tried- I should've threw, thrown a ball. Should've, should've gone for the catch, cause... Need death for the decks. Oh well. Actually, wait. Come here. Come here. Electricity is your specialty. Uh huh. I'll get so laugh if you end up with like a bunch of water Pokemon. So that was a fucking lie. Down you go. All right, but Moltres versus Moltres, that's not a fight I want to do, actually. I mean, I know I could, but not, not the ideal fight, to be honest. I see you've been to Viridian Forest. <laughs> Water Pulse says hello and good night. at least I can take Zilla out of the equation for the moment. Because while he does need a bunch of XP to evolve, he is basically getting the lion's share of it right now. So if I had to ditch anybody for Sandshrew again for the second goddamn time, it would probably be him. Actually, no, not for the second time. How many times have I had to use Sandro at this point? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, where's... There you are. Sorry, buddy. You're getting swamped for Sandro, because unfortunately I need cut again. What do I have in the box? I don't have anything to replace, honestly. I mean... I can't remember where I got you. Mount Moon. So real early for starters. And if I wanted to use you on the team in some way, to cover a weakness or something, it would probably be... Fire type or something to cover the fact that you Zilla's dumbass. weak against that. But unfortunately, I can't. I mean, the only other Pokemon I could think of would be to go for Jolteon to cover to replace Gekgami. But I don't think Jolteon gets that much better of a move. I don't know. Besides, I was saying I could throw a, a, a Jolteon. Might be able to go to Gekgami himself anyways. Alright. What are you? I'm just for a Moonstone. You're in the wrong place. Actually, I would say that, but... Considering everything's randomized, I don't think I ever actually found one. Minky, wing attack. Boom. Down goes the chip. Saptile! Man, you are just basically holding on to 
or something, I can with his egg easily. Ember! And it's burned! Too late for that, you're not gonna get enough turns to actually really utilize it. It's gonna be absolutely hilarious if this turned out to be a Moonstone. Citrus Berry. Yeah. Saying that because you would have basically been guarding it. Let's get it. I don't know what you could catch. I think I saw grass over there. Two Pokemon, Slowpoke. That's a Gekami jump if I ever move saw one because that's Water Psychic. What are the odds I'm gonna end up encountering something that Zilla could deal with? Easily and. The fact that I don't have him here is gonna hurt. <laughs> Kyogre! I see you've been up over where I found mine. I think it was over by Celadon? And if I had Thunder... This would be 100% accuracy. Holy shit, I actually remembered it's Thunder and I kept saying Thundershock. I'm actually not completely stupid for once. How many times in the last episodes I keep saying it was bloody Thundershock and not Thunder that has the 100% accuracy in the rain. Alright, I think that... Yeah, that's grass, so we need to... We want to heal up. I'm just not going to bother going back up. Where's our thingies? Super potions, here we go. Heal up a little bit on a candle. Or full heal, why not? This tree looks like it could be cut down, yeah, but... In there. Alright, so what do we got? Nose pass. Okay. Actually, shoot, I could have switched the origami on that, because candle is just a bit off a level. Oh well. Raichu! Yep, Zilla would have been perfect for this battle. Oh well. Hey! Zero! You know what to do. Because I definitely want Candela to get that level up. Because... Stuff we're gonna be going up against is closer to the late 30s. So I may have to do still a little bit of grinding, but at least this isn't as painful as having to just keep grinding until we get there. Because it means we can actually make some goddamn progress here. Lessens the impact. This episode's also going to be a little bit longer, I should have mentioned at the start. What are you walking? Oh, means I can't switch. Not like I was going to water pulse, anyways. Maybe two more encounters, because I'm pretty sure that's not everything here. Wow, Pikachu is very far from home. Also, it's the first time that we've almost seen a full evolution tree in the same area. Because we did see Raichu in the same area. 
Okay, come on. There's gotta be more than just these. Again, I should also be knocking these out, but whatever. Gotta be more than... There's got to be more than just this. Pretty sure there's at least one more. One more battle and we'll just... Dragonite! Dragonite! What? Alright, let's go. Well, 13. Oh, hey, 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 come here. I found combos in the cave once I was blocking. Alright, here we go. What do we got? Clefairy. If I were to the back, they're going up with me. Actually, what am I doing? I should be using someone else at this point. Well, actually, no. Candle can just completely take it. And the next Pokemon can probably go to somebody else. And it's another thing like this. Right, you. Knew it. Knew this would happen. Would have been a good time to bring Zilla back in, but no, oh, I apparently needed Cut again to go check out what might be around. This might be something that could replace a Pokemon on the team that might help improve things, like have a better move pool or something. So lucky. That is a yet gummy, because that is water psychic. Huh. Why did I say I was thinking Slow King, wasn't I? Uh, I was thinking Slow King, not Slacking! I am not exactly the most intelligent thing here at this point in time. Uh, I really don't have any way of doing so. I'm just basically going to have to keep shipping away at you. Not like I wanted to not keep attacking because I have to kind of keep chipping away as we finally decide to drop dead. Please just go away. Thank you. Yeah, you did. Moving right along. Hey. Trainer with a magma. All right, not bad. Not bad. Aragami, go. Waterfall. That's water grass, so get coming. Oh, grass was a select trick. Thundershock. Nature power turned into a uh, cankle. Swift's just default, like if it can't, if it's not a place where nature power would change into anything else, then just defaults to Swift. Thirty-four, not bad. It was 
Lowe's had a Mac, well, Mac more than Lowe's had, but whatever, bro. Where's Lowe's your boat? boat? I nearly ran straight into you. I mean, I wouldn't have minded, but I didn't even know you were there. Five Pokemon, alright. Hit on top. Um, what's my current levels? What are you sitting at? Yeah, you, you take it. You take it zero, because you got way more experience than Candle at this point. So, yeah, you take this one. I really wish I could also find some better moves for you. But without gambling to see what's there. Gango! Go! That's not good, that's not good. Uh, let's go with... Jetfire? Sort of go in a neutral zone. This one. Uh... Error! Just have to remind me for that. That's not good. If I you need to just kinda beat the thing now so I can get you out. Because I kinda don't need you sitting on that curse. Hokatek. Aragami, you've got ancient power, which I think works here. Ancient power! Not bad. One more ancient power should do it. Kaboom! Yes, Nico. Kaboom. Execute. That is a candle job because I guess actually I couldn't use Jetfire. Book. I wonder if that's supposed to kind of reference the old sprite, how there was always that one egg in the old sprite that's stupidly friggin' massive. Elamese, I think it's pronounced. So, Jetfire, you're up. We got a double battle, but oh yeah, I don't know why I don't like the small and my least favorite route in the entire thing. It's a straight up maze. Oh, first thing we got is a double battle. Let's do it. Yeah, I want to bounce Pokemon with you. Plus, you kind of opened up where the grass is. Actually, it's not a double battle. She's so the other one's kind of move unless I. I can have a roof I can go around to get into the grass. Because we do want to see what's in the grass. And good night. Marowak. So that's going to Noragami because Marowak's the ground. Go. It's 
Oh, already? Yeah, yeah, it is. You know what? Oh, no, she's blocking. She's blocking. Though, so we can also use a different route to kind of get around, because I want to go see some grass over here. And then we'll go take on the train, the rest of the trainers. Although, I think I'll split this up into two. We've still got a fair bit to go, so see you guys next episode.